It's a special edition of Tenafly Tigers basketball on Tenafly TV and our YouTube channel. Welcome to our studio, everybody. Charles Fleischer alongside Isaac Luck. I say it's a special edition because it's just a game, but it's not a normal game today. It's a county tournament game of a 2014 tournament. That these Tigers are competing in, and they're the eighth seed, and they're going to be playing Pascac Hills, the ninth seed. They're warming up right now, so Isaac. What do you expect this game? It's going to be a huge game. You know, we saw these guys in warm-ups. They look really good. They look insane. They're 11 and 1. They're 11 and 1. They're a very good team. You can, I can see it in warm-ups. They're draining all their shots. They're they're playing to their skills, and uh, so are the Tigers. It's going to be a really difficult matchup for the Tigers. I expect it to be a pretty high-scoring game. But uh, what Tigers really need to do is they need to pick up the pick it up defensively, and play their own game. Don't worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about the scoreboard. Play their own game. Play good on defense. I think it will be a great game and one to watch, definitely. Yeah, this is called the Bergen County Jamboree. There were two games that happened here already. St. Joe's and Hackensack played here with St. Joe's winning that game. And the last game that happened here previously was Old Japan and Ridgewood. Ridgewood took that W as well. Looks like we're about to get to the starting lineups and the national anthem. So let's go to the court with the public address announcer.
former mayor of Washington Township and educator at Walker High School for more than 54 years who supported the Jamboree behind the scenes by the sponsors, creating certificates and awards for the athletes and developing the programs for the tournament. Curtis Marsh, Hall of Fame basketball at Teaneck, who won nearly 600 games in his 28 years with both girls, 11 years and boys 17 years before retiring in 2010. Curtis's high win won one, the January title of 2009. You will always show me this, thank you. Please remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. Nervous at all? I think the Tigers are. <laughs> I mean, I would <laughs> having such a great season the way they have so far, coming to a big game like this, being the higher seed, something yeah. that they haven't normally been in a long time. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a big big day for them, and I think there's definitely some nerves in that Tiger huddle. Yeah, season season obviously is not over after they still have uh, more divisional games. You have games against NBD, Pasco Valley, Old Japan. Yeah, those big divisional games, but obviously this is for this is a county tournament. And a win here would very likely put them against Don Bosco Prep in the final in the top eight. And we will see if the Tigers can come out here with a win against these against this Hills team that is just that is just big team. Big, big team. Big very team, but yeah. Very like, senior driven. Kinda like the Tigers. Uh, only three non-seniors on the team. All right, folks, here we go. Ten of fly pass, Gag Hills. Eight versus nine, and we are underway. Tigers with the first possession. And they would try to like to play it slow here against this very good Hills team. So let's see what they do on their first possession here. A lot different than the last team we saw them play. Teenek, right? Yeah. A lot different. Then goes to stop. Don Chelly tries a three, no good. Rebound pulled out by Sammy Stewart. And Jesse Belknap for Pascak Hills has the ball. The Tigers defense is gonna have to play their hearts out tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. Aiden Burson. Burson pulled jumper, no good. Didn't get the roll, and Yoav Regev with the rebound out to Ben Roberts. Jack Newman, Riley drives baseline, but throws it away. And an outlet pass, the defensive play by Charlie. That pass was from Aiden Burson out to, try to get it to Jesse Belnick. Who goes out of bounds, it'll remain Hill's ball though. Inbounds it to Burson. Jesse Belnick drives, tries a three-pointer. And the foul. No bucket there, Ted Fly will have it. Score was so far, two minutes in, no foul. But I expect Ted 
really needs a bucket here mm -hmm. to take the momentum, get this crowd going. A lot of people in the crowd, and if they can get the crowd going, it'll be a very, very good start. Yeah, that foul was on Sammy Stewart. His first Chelly drive, six it out. Yoff tries a three, no good. Pills with the rebound. Sammy Stewart has it once again. Burson. Ten if I really need either Yoav or John Chelly to get really hot at this start. No one hitting anything the first two minutes. Said it was going to be high score game. Uh, I don't know about that so far. Here's Burson who drives short, and Roberts with the rebound. Roberts dances, double team, and a foul called. Second Eight. team foul, yeah. Uh, that's Jesse Belknack in the 23 with that foul. His first second team foul. Shelly. Jack Newman. The Tigers really taking it slow here so far. Jack Newman tries a three. In and out. And they couldn't get the rebound. Outlet to Belnick. And that three is short. That was from Andrew Brodsky with that try. Roberts has it. Roberts pull up, blocked. Looked like Ian Solomon got a hand on that. Hills has it once more. A travel called on Hills. Another turnover. Be very interesting to see Jack Newman continues his streak of really good games defensively. Oh yeah! I mean, he could be a really big part in this Tigers offense oh, uh, my, defense. Yeah, his game against Teaneck two nights ago. Oh my goodness! Very good playing. He he was told to be physical, and he was. Shelly, no good. Still scoreless game so far. Someone I would love to see. Uh, I hope Coach Kohler does. Is that that bench lineup that they put him? against oh, yeah. Teaneck, who was one of their main benefactors in the whole game, really getting on a really good run, putting some really important points up, and I would love to see them in here in this really important game. Aiden Burson, pull up, first points of the game. It was a long stretch with no points, four minutes, and we only, it's only a 2 nothing game. Four minutes in, let's see how Tigers can answer back real quick. Here's Yoab, double teamed. Newman gets it out to Ben. That was a really forced shot. Yeah. Probably should have took that one. Maybe look for a better option. Like this. Riley Bedowitz tries a three. A little strong. And Hills has it once more. I think like you said at the beginning of this game, the nerves of a big game, being the higher seed, is really playing a factor on this team. Underhand layup doesn't get the roll. And a foul. Could be a jump ball. Jump ball. Still be with, still going up on that hillside. So struggling offense for both teams so far. Is it really struggling offense or really good defense from both teams? Both teams reporting blocks and turnovers. It's just both teams really forcing some shots they maybe shouldn't have taken, especially the Tigers. But I think they, if they can pick it up, the Tigers should take, pick up the pace a little bit. They can really pull something together. Andrew Brodsky tries the three. No good. Rebound Stewart. And Stewart blocked by Yoav. It'll still be Hill's ball. Big block from Yoav. He's a very good defensive player when he wants to be. Yeah, he's their biggest player, tallest, so get good blocks in there. Definitely. Aiden Burson, another pull up from him. No good. Jack Newman has the rebound. Yo, the lineup is good. And the first points of the game for Tenafly. Over five minutes in. And who else but Yoav, who has just been the leader of this team. Absolutely outstanding all season long. Definitely a big leader on the score sheet. Another really important senior to this team. Really important person just all in all areas of the court. And that layup gets the roll. That's Ian Solomon. He 
this bad. Full crowd here, and you can see you. Jack Newman gets the bounce. Jack Newman gets on the score sheet. Jack Newman adds to his really important, uh, sorry, really long stretch of games, really big games, really good games from him. Yeah, yeah, you know, like he struggled, he struggled a little bit at the beginning of the year, but over like the past three, four weeks, oh man, he has just been on a tear. He's been amazing. He's been outstanding. You said he started off a little sh slow. You can tell he was gaining some of the confidence back shooting. Ian Sullivan, another layup. So we got four points, most for any player right now. You see, you definitely see the nerves, you know, they're not really looking around that much. Roberts tries to three, that won't go. They know something. Hills knows something about Ben Roberts, doesn't like to shoot. Forcing him to take that three, the wide open three. And uh, see if Andrew. Ben Roberts can adapt from that. Andrew Brodsky short, Charlie with the rebound. Yoav tries a three. Wow, can't hit anything so far. I thought it would be a really high scoring game. <laughs> As I said so far, 6 4 game entering the final minute. Yeah, it's all right. You never know what could happen, you know. You never know, yeah. but I think this game could still be a really high scoring game if we get to that point. Aiden Burst is short. Hill still has it. Stewart. To Belnick. Oh, sorry, that's Spurson. Spurson wants to drive. Belnick drives inside. A little reverse and couldn't get it. That's Jack Newman right there for you. Yeah. Wow, already under a minute, already under a half a minute to go, and it's just 10 total points so far. So they're going to take this all the way down here. I definitely don't want to take this final shot. Yeah. Can not give Hills anything. Yeah, I can tell that they definitely want to work it to either Riley or Yo off in the corner. Hills telling them to move. Riley. Jack Newman, Newman tries a three. Oh. In and out. That's two in and out threes from Jack Newman. Yeah. Is that two or three? It looks like, mm -hmm. like a two. Yeah, we'll take a, we'll take like a, a look out of that back. But wow, after one, only 10 points so far. Tigers trail only by two. So you know every bucket's going to be big in this game just because of just that. Judging from that one quarter, every bucket's going to be big. Every bucket's going to be big, and every defensive possession is going to be really big for both teams. Yeah. I mean, defensively, if they don't play strong, if both teams don't play strong, this game's about, it's just over. So, and two very, I, I mean, they're taking a lot of shots. So they're not worried about their possession time. They're really just shot-driven. Both two shot-driven teams. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I really don't think a lot of perimeter shots are going to be taken much here. Just, just, just a lot of like layups and floaters and stuff like that to just get points on the board, draw contact. I do think if Tigers really want to start or make their their game unique, they got to start playing from the from the perimeter because that's the, that's been their game right now. They, Driving in, it's not. It's not obviously only four points. Not working as much. And they get a few perimeter shots going in. It would really heat their whole team up, get the crowd going, get the bench going, yeah. and really gain some momentum. Coach not going to the bench here, so staying with the starters. I think that's very smart right now. I think both teams are really staying with the starters. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if we see the majority of this game, but I also wouldn't mind seeing that bench squad. From the Tigers. Led the way to the victory over Zurich. All right, here we go. Second quarter. Just going to Chelly double teamed here. Inside for Jack. Chelly tries a three. Can't hit it. And Yoav has it. For Chelly again. Roberts. They're really wanting Ben Roberts to take that open three. You can tell they're forcing it. They're really backing up into the paint when he has the ball top of the key. Newman, got it. Jack Newman, second layup. He's got four. And that's that John Shelley, Jack Newman teamwork there. Yeah. I mean, John Shelley has been seeing the four great these last two games. Andrew Brodsky with the three. Jack Newman's been, and Jack Newman's been getting in those spots to really get those assists and make them count. I mean, 
Tigers really need a three to answer back here, or just a, 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 a point really to get back here. Roberts thought about it. Jack Newman tries a three. There got go. it. Jack Newman on fire to start this game. He's got seven early points. Jack Newman, seven points so far. Uh, yep, get immediately tied at nine, just like that. As I said, they need that three to come back. And uh, Jack Newman has been playing outstanding right now. Yep. All sides of the court. And Aiden Burson here now. Aiden Burson. Riley guarding him. Gives it to Belden. Belden goes inside for Solomon. A little one-hander. Little one Tigers haven't had. Welcome to senior night. We're so happy. Six. Big Riley with Riley. a three. Riley Benowitz, his first points of the game. The Tigers have their first lead of the game. Only by one, though. Only by one, but they're on a run right now. Well, it's been back and forth so far. Yeah, they're on. Yeah. A, uh -huh. They've been getting. The, they got. They got the lead. And you hear the crowd getting into it. A Here's momentum Jesse run. Belnick, yep. And you can hear him. Andrew Brodsky tries a three. Short. The rebound comes to Solomon. Oh, fake by Jack Newman. That three is short, but another rebound just caroms to Hills, and Andrew Brodsky capitalizes. <laughs> Riley tries a three. No good, but the rebound, Chelly. Back out, Jack Newman from the foul line doesn't get to go, and Chelly tried to tip it in, but couldn't. Good work in the paint there from John Chelly, working it out to Jack Newman. Jack Newman had options, decided to take the shot. And a foul on, well, it looks like an and an, an, an one by Jesse Belnick. And Jack's going to get that foul. It looks like Mikhail's going to come in. I like that size. play there. He's going to come in for Jack Newman, which is very good. It's a really good one, -on one for one sub there, really mm -hmm. defensive players. Jack Newman doesn't have the size as Mikhail. Yeah. The same defensive skills. And Mikhail has that height. So you can grab the, uh, the, the board here if they miss. Don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, Hills leads by four now. I would love to see Ben Roberts because they're trying to force him. He's, they're trying to force him to take that shot. Yeah, and another turnover. Here comes Ian Solomon. Trying to force him to take that shot. Love to see him work into McHale. Solomon tries a three in and out. Rebound McHale. Roberts now. Play catch. Y'all pull up. In and out, and just keep those. getting in and out, and Hills has it once more. It's Jesse Belden. Burson, guarding him. Sammy Stewart. Down the baseline. Here's Burson. They spread it out. They keep having to pass it out. Brodsky. McHale on him. He just lost it. Great defense there from McHale getting in the way. It poked out of bounds by McHale. It'll still be Hill's ball. It's a pull-up jumper by Solomon. Doesn't go, but the rebound goes to Stewart. And a foul. And Sammy Stewart will go to the line to shoot two. The foul's on Yoav, looks like. Uh, time. It looks like a timeout called by Fennefly. 
So down five here. It's been a great day of basketball here at this school. A lot of games, a lot of yeah. very big and a lot of good games. Two games already here. As we first, said already. First game was only a three point game. Five point. Five point. Five point, yeah. It was St. Joe's and uh, Hackensack play here. It's a big game. Yeah. It's a very, very big game. Yeah. Next and we got Ber uh, who is Bergen playing? Uh, Bergen. Bergen's coming here. They're playing Riverdale. It's Bergen's number game. two. Bergen's number two seed. Uh, I think Riverdale pulled an upset in the first round. And they're going to come here and play Bergen Catholic. Would love to see that game. I might stay for that one. Okay. Yeah. You know, you know, as a senior, got to get ready for the talk show. So, yeah. Catch that up here next. Oh, uh, yeah. We will broadcast the talk show. So. Tammy Stewart to the line for one more free throw. The Tigers got to put something here right now. So let's see what they can do. Here's Chelly. Yo, I've double teamed, and he lost it. And a suffocating defense from last guy killed so far. Another one once more, Solomon. Drives, gets it, and gets the roll. Wow. It's an eight-point game. Even Solomon with eight points himself. Tigers really need a bucket here on this possession oh, yeah. if they want to keep their momentum. Well, that mind saying it. Coach Cole a timeout if they can't get anything quick enough. Oh, yeah, he already called a timeout, so yeah, they, they need something right here. Wouldn't mind seeing one, though. Charlie almost lost the drives. Underhand doesn't get it. Mikhail really needs to get those boards yeah, there. Yeah, and Hills has it once more. They really need to work the perimeter here. They, they're not very, they're not, they're not very successful in the paint. They really need to work the perimeter. Aiden Burson. Burson drives another pull up, and he got it. Ten point game. Now these guys can shoot. Definitely can pull it in. I'd really like to see Yoel in that corner three spot. That's where he. That's where he's from. That's where he. That's what he does. He's bad. All right, Ben threats the needle to Riley, and he gets fouled. So good job right there, going out for Riley. It looks like he will shoot two free throws. I like that play from Riley. I like that play from Ben Roberts, seeing the four like he always does. It's been a disciplined game here in this first half. Only three fouls for uh, Hills, two for Tenafly. Oh, Riley missed the first, and now you can't miss those. And Jack will come back in for Mikhail. I like that play. Let's see if Jack, I'm sorry, let's see if uh, Riley can make this a nine point deficit. It does. So need a stop now, one. Man, this game's gone by quickly, hasn't it? It really has, second quarter. Not a lot of whistles, not yeah. a lot of whistles. 1.20 to go, Hill, Tenafly trails by nine. Inside for Solomon, who gets up and gets the roll. It's an 11 point game. Wow. Tigers had a good start, but Mills has gone on a great run here. Ben Roberts gets fouled by Aiden Burson. Aiden's first foul. Now you gotta get someone here. Here's Yellow. Lost it double teamed. And Hills has it again. Drive and no shot. A foul was on the or Justin Belknick with that drive right there. It's going to be on Ben Roberts. That's going to be his first. 
team's third. Out to Solomon. Gets inside, doesn't get the roll. And the rebound is fought for, stays with Hills. Solomon is fouled. And they're, they're just so much bigger, and they're dominating the boards right now. And they're, they're just bowling them in the paint. So half a minute to go. Solomon with two more free throws. This is the first. And a 12 point game now. Well, we've seen the Tigers make crazy comes back, comebacks before. But against this team, man, it's going to take everything. It's going to take a lot of effort. Yeah. It's going to take a really big second quarter. I mean, second, second half. half. It's going to take a really big second half from the Tigers' big players. And 10 seconds to go here. Really need something here. Just wow. not moving around. Shelly tries a three. A good Jack tries it, but it does not go. And a good start for the Tigers, but all Pascak Hill since. It has been all Pascak yeah, Hill. Yeah, it has been all Pascak Hill since, and they lead it 25 to 13. Do not go anywhere. We have the second half. Tigers will try to make a comeback here down 12. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the second half of this game between Tenafly and Passac Valley. I'm Charles Fleischer. This is Isaac Wilkes. So, hey, give us the stats for the first half. Whatever you got there. Tiger shooting. there on that iPod. Yeah. Tiger shooting 29 percent from the field. Yeah. Passac shooting 41. 41. Yeah. I mean, that's a big difference. Big difference Very big difference. Although Tigers are shooting better from the three-point line. I think they could work on that a little more. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they're probably going to have to, you know, take take a lot of shots if they're going to win this game. They have to take those threes. They have to take, I think, if ben, they're really letting Ben Roberts have that open three shot, and they know that he doesn't want to take that shot. He knows they want, they want him to work it down low. So I think if he takes those open shots or if we see someone else control the top of the key, maybe Yoav, Something like that. I mean, I think they could definitely be really successful. I think Coach Kohler definitely has something up his sleeve coming yeah. into the second half. Yeah, uh, since it was 12 to 11, Passac Hills has went on a 14 and 1 run. They did not hit a single three. It was all just twos and three point plays when, you know, uh, two pointer on a foul. So. And you know these guys. You know these guys have a great have great perimeter shooting. So let's see if the Tigers can match it in the second half. They're down 12. Hills has the ball to start. So we've seen it before. We've seen Tigers come back from big deficits. Big deficits, yes. And the biggest deficit they came back this season was by 19. I think it was it was at least 20. It, it was the beginning of the year against Glen Rock. Unfortunately, lost that game. But you know they can Do come back that. from deficits. I from definitely these. remember that. Yeah. It's the second game of the year. Yeah, I mean, that was a big game for the Tigers. Even though they lost, Gunnar's a very good team. Aiden Burson has it blocked. Second half is underway. Brodsky tries a three and hits it. And a good start to the second half for Andrew Brodsky. But they're going to have to take chances here now. Definitely good feed. Chances. And Jack, Jack, John Chelly is fouled. Good pass right there from Yoloff. John Shelley really, really needs to hit these shots here. Mm -hmm. Can't afford to miss. Sam Stewart, three fouls. He's in foul trouble. John Shelley makes the first. As I said, he's in big foul trouble with three. He's their big man down low, number zero zero, in the brown, and he could be. He could be, if Tyrus can get him out of here, that would be really good for them. Well, those brown jerseys are black. Oh, they're brown. Okay. Definitely yeah, brown right. and orange. Yeah, that's all here. Now, John Shelley doesn't hit the second. And Hills has it once more. Now coming alive here with the defense champ. He's bursting. Well, they need a stop here now. Inside. Good feed. Sammy Stewart kicks out. Burson with a three, no good. And a rebound, but Shelly steals it from Solomon. And here they go. Tires need something here. Yep. Really need something here. And as I said, John Shelly keeps throwing the top of the key right now. Different look, gives him a different look. John Shelly will gladly take those threes. Riley Benowitz with a three, and just like that. That is a huge three pointer from Riley Benowitz. As I was saying, John Shelley will most will gladly take that open yeah. three if they give it to him. Then Roberts maybe second guesses it a little. But John Shelley coming in and giving that feed to Riley. Belnick. For Brodsky. Solomon guarded by Yov. Look it around. Burson looks to drive. Little jumper is good. Off one foot. Nice little transition jumper there. Oh, Ben Roberts should have taken it right there. Doesn't get the bounce on that jumper, and Hills has it once more. Thought Ben was going to take a shot there. Not so, too. Person. Three doesn't go. And there's Yoav. Double team. Riley tries another three. No good. Man, he's no. He's you don't hit. Kind of kills you, and especially right now. 
Riley is still shooting 50%. Gets inside, doesn't get a foul, but the rebound is good. Jesse Belnick with that and one. And Hill stretches the lead. Sorry, that was Sammy Stewart with that one. My bad. Yeah, Meet yeah, Bet Bet Solo. Solo coming in the game. And the lead is stretched to 16. Well, Hill's winning the second half so far. Sammy Stewart picking up his fourth and fifth. The N1. Pass deflected. It'll still be Tenafly's Fly's ball. Oh. Jack lost it. And that layup, no good, but a foul by Aiden Burson. Good, char good charge oh. take there. Everyone charge mind. take. It'll be Tenafly's Fly's ball. Thought it was a foul on one of the Tigers, but. Burson picking up his second of the yeah, game. Offensive foul. Love to see ball get kicked out to Riley. I'd also, I'd also love to see Ben take it, take yeah. some more shot. That might be goal timing. Yeah, Meat draws contact. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's a big one. Sammy Stewart, one foul away from being fouled out of this game. His fourth. Yeah, I don't know why he's not being taken out here. Coach, he, he might like be. Coach really trusts him here. Oh, it doesn't hit the first one eight. And he will be taken he out. He will be taken out. He missing his first. It looks like Maris and Bibi, number 43, will come in. Morris and Bibi. And he doesn't have both. Second. Good hustle from Burson. Gives it to Brodsky who gets it. And a timeout by Tanafly and Pascak Hills all over them right now. Well, they're taking a team that's much bigger than them. It's better shots than them and we're seeing it right now. Brodsky picking up his 10th that shot. 35-17 with a quarter to go. And they can well, do it. Now remember, uh, Pascal Kills went on a 14-1 to one run to end the second half. If Tigers can implicate that, it, it, uh, uh, imitate that, even or even better, you know. This game has changed immediately. But they need to take shots. Like Ben, ben had a few open threes, just didn't take them. Let's see what they get, what they can do here now. So tight. Tigers need. Tigers only scoring. There's 13 coming into the half. Not putting up a lot of points in this, in this third quarter. Four, half a quarter, one and a half quarters remaining. One and a half quarters remaining. Tigers down. I still think this is doable, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. If the Tigers to pull it through, get a few really good possessions, really few stops, finish out this quarter super strong, I think they could really do something here. Yellow back in the game. Yellow back in the game is Chelly. Riley tries the three, short, and Hills has it once more. Meat still in this game, too. Yeah. Jesse Belnick in and out. And it's draws base line on a foul. Yeah, number 22. It's on Aiden Burson. Oh, oh sorry, that's on Morris and Bibby. Morris and Bibby to pick up his first coming into this game. That's a three short again, but Jack gets the rebound. So big bucket right there by Jack Newman. Jack Newman picking up his ninth point, getting into a, he's having a real good game. And that was a big possession there from the Tigers, getting the offensive rebound, putting it back. Mm -hmm. Deep three 
short. Fight for the rebound. Hill still has it. Bodies collide. Inside for Solomon, who gets fouled, unfortunately. Jermaine Riley, the push. Uh, picking up his first. Tires don't get into a lot of foul trouble because of their size. Well, Ian Solomon looking to stretch this lead here. It's both. Back to an 18 point game. Ben Roberts isn't in this game. They've had him on the walks this whole game, pretty much. Charlie tries a three, that won't go. And Tigers just taking every shot they can now. Trying to erase this huge lead. Tigers coming in here, the higher seed. Yeah. Coming in here with 11 and two record. The Hills has a slightly better record at 11 and one. Showing it now. Burson gets inside. A little too, a little too weak right there, but Riley has it. Heavily double teamed. Aiden Burson picking up his third foul. They're getting some, some into some foul trouble. Ian Solomon. Sorry, not Ian Solomon, Sam. Sammy. There's Riley. Shall inside for Jack. There's Yoav. Oh, good. Jack gets it back. And that one doesn't go. And Hills has it again. Good pass for Solomon. Still the Hills ball. Tigers thought it was knocked off of him. Good pass for Bibby. All the way back out, just threw it away. And it'll be ten of his ball. 150 to go in this third quarter. The Spurgeon County Jamboree a slash county tournament game. Jack. Yov just throws it away. And Jesse Belnick, the easy layup. And timeout, ton of fly there. Down 20. It's been all hills since the, since the second quarter. Now, Young, kind of unfortunate for the Tigers, man. You come in, you have such a great record, 11 and 2. And, but, you know, season's obviously nowhere close to over. We have a big game against NVD on Tuesday night at their place. So hopefully you fans watching at home can show out for that game. It'll be a huge game, divisional game. Let's we'll see if the Tigers can get something going. So here's Chelly now. Riley right, looking to draw baseline. Jack pull up. Just can't hit. A meet with the rebound. Riley tries a three. Got it. Riley a big three. Slowly cutting back on this deficit. Here's Burson. Guarding him. See Belnick. Do you like to see the Tigers play like aggressive defense here? I wouldn't mind it in the fourth, but I mean, John Shelley can steal yeah. there from Jack Newman. Almost lost it back, but Shelley has it once more and a bad pass. 
intended for Riley and another turnover. I wouldn't mind seeing the Tigers full court press at the really start of the, set of the fourth because they don't have the ball. Really like to see them have that really, really tough full court press slowing their game down. Forcing them to make those passes over the over the half court line. Forcing those turnovers. Andrew Brodsky. We'll take the clock down, you all guarding him. It's up to Burson. Burson drives, gets inside, doesn't go, the tip doesn't go either. And perhaps a better. Pascal kills one that second, that third quarter. Because they lead with 12 going into halftime and they're lead to 17. Rolling out of the fourth quarter. have to take chances here now. Really gonna have to take chances here in this fourth quarter. I would love to see them do that full court press. Really love them to force and force something. And I really think if they can force some turnovers early, get a few possessions, get get Pat get Hills on their on their on their heels. Yeah, draw contact, be aggressive. It would be really, really important. Win or lose just get, get have some really good runs. I mean, it would be great. Yeah. Obviously going to need a big run to start this fourth quarter. Eight minutes to go. Let's see what they can come up with here. Trying to go a little quick. They need to if they want to get some shots off. Riley wide open. Needs to hit this. Yes. It's a great start. start. Yeah, great start right there. But you need stops now. Stop and score. That's how you get back on this game. Crowd really needs to get into us, and you can hear it. You can hear them getting into it. Here's Belnick. I mean, any bucket now from Hills is a dagger because of how much of a run they went on. Here's BB inside for Solomon, got it. He will leave him wide open. Leave him wide open. But right now, Tigers really need a bucket here. Corner for Yoav. Yes, hits another three. Three straight threes. Hit by Tenafly. I like this press right now, really forced him. Double teamed. An eternal time. Be a timeout taken by. Yeah, timeout by Pastak Hills. All right, so they cut it to 13. That's Pretty doable. good. Yeah. That's a very doable I mean, deficit. Nine, nine quick points. Yeah, partial timeout. Yeah. So, hey, got to take those. Got to got to send your shooters out now, you know. Not a time to drop a play here, but. Right now, Tigers really need to play aggressive on defense, like you said. Mm -hmm. And then they get those stops on defense and then drive, really drive the perimeter shots. 51 to go in this tournament game. Tigers coming in the higher seat at number eight. Pascal kills at number nine, so it's pretty even all across the board with records and everything. But. Tigers dominating right, uh, Pascal Kills. Got this game. Here's Bibi. Belnick drop, looks to drive. Playing really aggressive, you can see it right up to him. But they yeah. can't. Take time it. off the clock. Bibi almost lost it. Person. I mean, they're just taking time off the clock here. You've got to get a turnover. Oh, they left them wide open. And Andrew Burson can't connect, but the rebound goes and 
Balanek with a three, gets the roll. That's huge. Well, let's see if Tenafly can answer back now. Yeah, Riley mm -hmm. wide open in the corner. Roberts tries a three, air balls it. Wow. That's what they wanted them to take. That's exactly what they want. That's exactly what they wanted them to take. Well, it looks like a full court press here now. I like the full court press, but they can't let up in the, in the, in the paint like they did a few possessions ago. They're pressing really hard at the half court line, and then they're just leaving the paint wide open. Yeah. Spurs in a turnover, and here's Ben with it now. Just to get inside, that's fouled. So Ben Roberts will go to the line, shoot two. He can cut it to as much as 14. Burson's got four fouls. This is really important for the Tigers. He's one of their big benefactors on defense and offense. Oh, short. And this is the first. Oh, don't forget, we will have the talk show tonight. It'll be broadcasted. I will be in it. Much of these seniors on, uh, yeah, all these seniors on the court will be in it, including some of the bench like Michael Amit. And our next basketball game will be Tuesday. It's the girls. will be our first girls broadcast in a very long time. It'll be against rival MDD at 3.30. Four o'clock, excuse me, four o'clock start. Timeout taken by Paskak. Yeah, time to take Be it by a partial. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the next game that will happen in this school will be 18th seed Riverdale. It's number two seed Bergen Catholic. And they have championship. County championship aspirations. I mean, I mean, Bosco is the number one seed. You know, could see those two teams in the finals, one versus two, one versus two, and the rivalry that's gone way back. They're fierce. Always, it's between, always a good yeah. uh, Bergen Bosco hockey. Yeah. Oh, oh, hockey as well. Oh, they, always they, hockey. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're, 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 are their teams like the best in the state as well? Oh yeah. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Bergen and Bosco. These rivals always competing in every sport. Two of the best schools. Two of the best. Schools athletically in the state. I mean, they might be the best too. Yeah, they are. Down low for Solomon. He really got up there. Solomon really oh, yeah. got up there for that. Yeah, it'll be ton of flies ball. So let's see. They're down 15 now. Still not out of it though. Yeah. Five minutes left. 15. It's very doable. Yeah. I mean, but. <laughs> could I wouldn't be surprised if Tigers go on a quick run though. They need. They need to take all the shots they can get. Jack all oh, thought about it. That's going to be a shot Don there. Don tries a three. No good. You know, that, that might be a killer. So we're just going to take more time off the clock now. Got Inside it. for Solomon. Maybe a, just a few more buckets from Hills, and you know, that'll be it. Solomon. Solomon gets 16. Team three from Riley. A big three there. Yeah. Big three, long three. Riley also has 16. Person with the four fouls gets inside. Oh, good. And Bell, Nick. No good. That's big. Yeah. I just need to go now. Riley. I need a three. Give it to John Shelley. Roberts tries a three. three. Got it. 11 point game. Ben Roberts making a three there. It's always yeah. good to see him make some point, get some, uh, make some shots. Four minutes to go. Crowd coming alive. Just we thought we, this but game I, was over. Yeah, no, but again, a few more buckets. Andrew Brodsky got it. That is a huge bucket from Andrew Brodsky. That's back to a 14-point game. Brodsky's got 13. Ben with another three. Short. Need that offensive rebound there from Jack. Oh, it doesn't get it. Kelly tries to strip it. Inside for Marison. Solomon gets hit and he's fouled. Wow. This could have been 
It's too bad, John Shelley. Yeah. No luck there. They are just John Shelley exhausted. Is just to mention a few things. Tigers hockey plays at 7 o'clock tonight at McKay Ice Arena for a big game. Tigers clinched states a few days ago. It's a big one against Brams Catholic. And Sammy Stewart coming back in with the four fouls. So Coach really trusts him here. Here's Riley for Jack. Little floater, no good. And a foul on, looks like a uh, jump ball. Wow. Well, even though the tougher Tigers will, they're three minutes away from going out. Tigers not going to give up, though. Yeah. That was going to be on Riley. We said for four, nowhere near close to the end of the year. Still got a bunch of divisional games. Still trying to win this division. And they're in great position to do so. I think they just need to win a few more games. I mean, I think if they win at NBD, they'll probably clinch the division, but I don't know. They might need a few more a few more wins. And they're all divisional wins against all divisional games. They will play, they'll play NBD, they'll play Pascal Valley, Old Japan. But less than three minutes to go and not looking good for the of fly. Stewart. Inside for Solomon. No good. Shelly has it. They need to go quickly now. Yeah, three here from Yoav. Yoav. It's no so short. Yeah, that, that might have been it right there. Two and a half left. That bucket there. And Ian Solomon. Ian Solomon's having a big game with 18, though. Yeah. Down, down low is crazy. Roberts tries an underhand. Game number 24. Coming on Ian Solomon, that's his first. Yeah, wow, Ian Solomon's been great. Yeah, he's just great. dominating the paint. Well, Tigers on the bonus now, so any foul they get. I would have loved, to, like, yeah. loved to see Yuval in more, way earlier. Oh, yeah. It looks like Tigers are just bringing in their subs now. Yuval Gutman. I would have loved to see him a lot earlier in this game. But ben gets both free throws to roll. So Yuval's in now. Looks like Riley will. He would have been, yeah. been a great perimeter shooter if they put him in a little bit earlier in this quarter. Yeah, I think Riley stays over. A disappointing finish. Or, uh, well, disappointing. For, unfortunately, a disappointing afternoon for a Tenafly, but they will learn from this, and they look to rebound. But a huge game against NBD at NBD on Tuesday night. It'll be a charge and a yeah. great foul taken the by Ben. Right there. Give me out number 31. Oh, Riley will come back in. Give me out number 31, Brodsky. It's first. You need to go quick here now. Roberts, Shelly. Ah, that's good. That's a three. And a timeout called. So it's a 13 point game. 159 to go. It's going to be a full timeout. Taken by Coach Kohler. Coach Kohler has two timeouts remaining. And that can be really big here. Well, all, all your early hope is situational basketball now. Make, well, probably got a he heavy press, force Hills to call a timeout, and then just quick stop and score, pretty much. All is what's going to take. Yeah, stop. I mean, I've seen crazier happen, 13. I've seen people go on 13-0 runs and 
Yeah, two my, minutes before. At the beginning of the year, my Knicks almost blew a 13-point lead with like, two, yeah, almost blew a 13-point lead with with less than two minutes left, and we won by one. It came down to the final possession. It, it was, it was, it, yeah, it was Demar Derozan who almost hit the game winner. We should have lost that game, honestly, but you know, he missed it, and we went to four and one. But that doesn't matter right now. Knicks just not having a good year, unfortunately. Tigers are having a great year, though. Oh yeah. Without, even though without, even though not only really strong right now with the win, but uh, want to sell a lot of big games to come, and a lot of really important matchups to get in the, a lot of bigger tournaments, like the states. And it's gonna be a jump ball. I think it's gonna be Tigers. It's gonna be Tigers. Or is it? It is gonna be Tigers. Oh yeah. Okay. My little. Screen, it's Tigers. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Tigers. Well, looks like the Russ can't decide right now. Are they saying it's Haskak's ball now? Oh, yeah, they are. Saying it's Haskak's ball. Huh. You lied. Really good press here. But it's like not good enough. Oh. Ooh, and a turnover. Yeah, that would have been, that that been a good play. I'm in a like good play. A little bit of 45 Belknick action. To, yeah, Belknick back to Solomon, but still be Tiger's ball. Yeah, well, they got to go quick. They need a three. Like, yeah, they need a three. Riley tries it. No good. Good rebound. offensive rebound. Shelly. That's no Shelly. good. And that should be a foul on and number. Foul. And if that's Sammy Stewart's fifth. It's, it's going to be on Jack Newman. It's, oh, wow. It's going to be on Jack? Jack, that's his third. Wow. And they're shooting. Yeah, and it is a shooting. And looks like that'll seal it right here. Oh yeah, he can pretty much seal out of the line right here. Randy Stewart, four fouls. Makes the first for the one and one. Yeah, it looks like kind of fly a little close to empty that bench now. This is the second. Well, yeah, but how much is it too little too late? Roberts goes quickly. No uh, look pass, but still it. able to keep it alive, but still be Hill's ball. Looks like they will take as much time kind of at the clock here. Yuval will come back in. Sophomore. One twenty to go. This tournament game between Hills and Gonna fly. And there. Moments away from getting a matchup, from getting a likely matchup with Don Bosco Prep, the number one seed in this tournament. And coach leaving the starters out there. Once again, our next, yeah, once again, we'll have the talk show tonight. And then our next basketball game will be a girls broadcast. Haven't done one of those in a while, so excited to see Riley Turkoff back, back in action. She's, she's just been on an absolute tear. She, she's, she's had two 48-point games in, like, two weeks. That's big. Oh, my, oh my like, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm right to him. One minute to go. Solomon. Go. And Solomon tried to yam at home, but couldn't. And Roberts. 
couldn't control the pass from Chalo. A disappointing afternoon for Fenafly Tigers, but we'll learn from this and they will look to rebound against NVD on Tuesday night. It'll be a big divisional game. Pascal Kills will win it. 55 to 40. And they will likely get the number one seed in the tournament. Don Roscoe Prep. A good effort from Tenafly. Not good enough. As the higher seed will take it. As well, oh yeah, number nine over number eight here at Tenafly High School today. There will be one more game here today. It will be number two seed at Bergen Catholic against number 18 Riverdale. Catholic and Bosco expectations to meet in the final. So we'll see what happens. Are you, maybe, maybe, maybe we should go to the Bosco Bergen game since you know if it'll be. One versus two, and it'll likely be a full crowd. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But this game, just talk a little bit about this game. I mean, it's a really, really good showing from uh, Ian Salmon. Yeah. He had a lot of he, – he had a big game of 18. And from the Tenafly side, Riley Benowitz had 16, mm -hmm. which is a really good start from them – a really good yeah. ending from him. Start off a little slow. But um, – and also Jack Newman played really well defensively, like always, and – yeah, Hills just went on too many runs, and they went at 55 to 40. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching a special edition of Tetafly Tigers basketball on THS TV and our YouTube channel. They lose by 15, unfortunately, but they already bound, I'm sure. But I'm Charles Fleischer. That's Isaac Wilk. We will see you. We will, uh, we will broadcast the Tuck Show, and we will see you Tuesday night for girls basketball.